When did people start using computers first in filmmaking? Um, in terms of filmmaking, I would say that computer graphics really started in the 70s. Yeah. Um, Ed Catmull, who was the founder of Pixar, uh, who has a PhD in computer science, was doing things for Westworld. So there was some Westworld, the Westworld, Yule Brenner yeah, Brenner yes. movie. There was like a digital hand. He's that a was robot used. in the, 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 the it's a amusement park, yeah. and it's staffed by robots, including Yul Brenner. That's right. And so you see, so that scene with his digital, digital hand, hand, that's a computer generated yeah, that, graphic. Yeah, that is a computer generated graphic. Interesting. Um, there was some very minimal amount of computer graphics in the original Star Wars, the trench sequence. There was like a, a simulation. It was a basic uh, image of that time. Uh, it took a lot. I mean, Tron was obviously, I think, mm. the one that really drew most attention. The uh, original Tron. The original Tron. Yeah. In the in the 80s, and that uh, that was um, an. Uh, that was an innovative use of computer graphics. The film, people have mixed opinions about the movie at the time. Right. Uh, but it definitely was a film that drew a lot of attention. That's often the case, by the way. Yeah. Is that it, there's this is uh, this is um, Tron. Mm -hmm. the, the movie is second. I mean, it's wonderful to see these special effects. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't guarantee a good movie. <laughs> but you know, means. interestingly, <laughs> this was done through Disney, but Disney didn't do the actual images that you see. Uh, they had another company, Digital Pictures, that actually created the computer animation. But uh, John Lasseter, who was working at Disney Animation at the time, was so blown away mm. by the possibilities of what he saw on, on a film like Tron. Interesting. That he actually pitched a film, Where the Wild Things Are, as as a animated film with computer backgrounds and hand-drawn animation at wow. Disney. Jason, can you see my computer? Because I want to show the first 3D animation in the movie, this is yeah. uh, this is Westworld. This is on YouTube, amazingly enough. And uh, we're going to see Yul Brynner's hand. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, computers in in the in, in 1976. I mean, think about it. 1976. Yeah. This is before the Apple II came out. Sure. So computers were not super sophisticated. No, they weren't. And the tools weren't super amazing at this point. It was very primitive. Um, it, you had an interesting combination of engineers and artists that worked on uh, in this process, but yeah. it was probably, I would say, obviously a lot more cumbersome than the tools that we take for granted today. Um, so just what you're seeing there is the first CGI, but yeah. of course it's not good enough to look like it's really sure. real. So they put it in a computer screen. That's right. So that you don't say, well, what the? That's not. <laughs> that's oh, not your yeah, uh, But I also have to mention a very innovative uh, computer-generated effects sequence was the Genesis. Uh, project that was shown in the Wrath of Khan yeah. in 1982. And then that was actually a group of artists that actually worked at Lucasfilm Computer Division that actually became Pixar. So, Interesting. Uh, so it's very incestuous, yeah. isn't it? It's all, it's really a, a, a kind of a group of people who, like John Knoll, who know mm -hmm. each other, uh, Ed Catmull, That's right. uh, John Lasseter, uh, George Lucas. And it, it, it seems like it all was, it's not a surprise you're in San Rafael. It was all yeah. fertilized down the highway yeah. here. I mean, a lot of the Bay Area had some... Not L.A. Yeah, not, not necessarily L.A., but to, to be fair, also, in the 80s, um, the HBO logos that were done were done in, with right. computer graphics as well. So a lot of sure. motion graphics were used in... Um, were using computer graphics. So you, did, you had a group of artists in New York, of all places, uh, that were doing post work, and they were actually uh, heavily using the technology... Some of them actually founded a company known as uh, Blue Sky Studios that has done the Ice Age films. Uh, oh, those and, are and, good. And one of the artists there and the founding member was also involved in Tron as well. So the, there was, and uh, you know, I'm kind of going back and forth, but um, the last Starfighter also had computer-generated spaceships, no uh, motion blur, so it kind of stood out uh, in terms of film uh, look, but it was. Uh, an example where you made computer-generated uh, vehicles in the in the in the 80s. If you go back, this uh, if you go back and look at the graphics, this is an early Super Bowl on television. Mm -hmm. uh, this this and this isn't that long ago. This is uh, this is the 70s. Mm -hmm. um, it's it, it's funny when you go back and look at this stuff. How primitive sure. Sure. it is. Look at how the <laughs> the the reveal. <laughs> um, but those are computer graphics, computer generated. They're just yeah. not. They're just not very good. And there uh, were. Yeah. <laughs> and this is this is not long. Really, yeah. not long ago.
I mean, Pixar is probably going to be celebrating its 30th anniversary, um, I think 86, yeah. is when, when they were yeah. founded uh, under Steve. But yeah, I mean, uh, it isn't very old, but in some ways uh, a lot has happened, and the expectations of the public, I think the truth about visual effects is it shouldn't, it shouldn't draw attention to itself in anything. If anything, right. it should be invisible. That's in one ways why it really was early, <laughs> premature in these early versions. And one of the things they did, they wouldn't try to pretend it's reality. I mean, sure. it was far from, uh, you know, here's the last star. We'll show the theatrical uh, trailer from uh, the last uh, Starfighter. And uh, um, it, 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 nobody was pretending that this was, well, the last Starfighter may be, right? I think they oh, did. this is a yeah. series. This is not the actual. Uh, I want to find the movie. Uh, do you have it? There it is. So, so this is supposed to be real. Yeah, it's supposed to be real. But when you compare it to Star Wars and films that use miniature models... Models are it, so it, much better. Yeah. In fact, I mean, I do know there's a school of thought in the public where they like practical effects more than computer People want to go back to models. In fact, yeah, people, I think, were very thrilled to see that J.J. Abrams was going to use a physical... That new yep, robot... That's right. Uh, ...was going to use a physical thing that's instead right. of trying to do a CG. It would be easy. I think he wants to keep the look consistent to what... The Je old days. Je yeah, Jedi. Yeah. But if you came, if you went to a theater and saw this today, you'd go, "Oh boy, those are cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> These are cheesy effects." The key, the key is not to think it's an effect at all. Yeah. And actually, that's one of the things I find fascinating is you're seeing special effects all the time. Yeah, and you I, don't know it. And I, it is invisible to some extent. Um, two movies I'll draw attention to last year were The Birdman and The Grand Budapest Hotel. 